I'm back. Hey guys, welcome everybody back to Cooking with Argyle, that good old show that happened three times. Some shit went down, and now we're back. Welcome to the brand new kitchen. Here we are, guys. It's got a garden of herbs. It's got grills. It's got a stove. I think these are ovens. We'll find out. That's a microwave. Anyways, let's skip to the part where I magically have all the food prepared for today's cookery. Alright, so here we are, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Argyle. This is a special Thanksgiving edition. I just wanted to show everybody a great Thanksgiving meal. You know, everybody at home typically does a turkey. Well, I don't have any turkey in this kitchen, and I've, I've looked around. And it's nowhere to be found. So instead of turkey, we're going to do a ham. People cook a ham on Thanksgiving. Here you go. You got your ham chuck right there. We're going to spice it up. We're also going to treat you guys to some bread soup. Uh, we got my uh, oven going on in the background there, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get started here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick up one of these, and we're going to go ahead and just uh, get this guy right on top of that. This is uh, Dusseldorf mustard. Um, you know, it makes a nice, good, thick coat on that ham. That's what you want to do. Just want to basically make the ham look like it's yellow. Uh, all the way and then once you're done just set that aside we're gonna get some elderflower gel hang on the m sometimes the mustard will keep dripping you just gotta take care of it anyways next you want to get your oh fuck um just just rub it in just get it in there as as good as you can try to just This ham's a magician. All right, so we got our ham ready to go. We're gonna do our uh, last finishing touches here, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna get it uh, a little basted in some uh, dark beer. Oh yeah, get that thing just sopping wet as much as you can. I am on a high rise. Was that a helicopter? Anyways. Once this is done, you're going to get it on your baking tray. You can see I've got some various vegetables, um, hot dogs and um, carrots and all kinds of shit. So we're just going to get the ham on top there. Get a little uh, olive oil going here. Just, uh, oh, there we go. Hang on. Just got to, sometimes you forget how to use your hands. All right, once you get a nice tray of olive oil, just set that aside. And we're going to pick this bad boy up and get him right into the oven. So our oven's ready to go. Just if I can get it on a rack. Let that baby boy cook. And we're going to get our soup started. So while that's going on... Oh! that The ham's still going! Alright, I forgot to turn that off. That should be off. Well, let's see. Alright, something happened with the ham. So we're going to go ahead and turn this one on. Oh. Just. Oh. Oh, the ham's there. All right. Let me just close that. Yeah. You know, if it works, it works. We're going to get cooking with the bread soup. So while we take that off, we're just going to go ahead and get the water and the in the tank here. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's got to be another water source here. Is there not a sink? Oh, there we go. Thank God. All right. We just need to get that in there. Pour it up. Get it in the big pot. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, we're getting the water in the pot. We're making the bread soup. Perfect. So we got to get the soup on. Turn that on. Turn that one on. Just take your bread, get it right in there. Very easy. Bread's in. 
Get your Bavarian beer vinegar. You're going to pour that in too. Oh, shit. And we're going to go ahead and get this in there. All right. And let's start going. You want to blend up all that bread. You want to basically make it a bread stew. All right. Okay. You know, I prefer the old kitchen if, uh, if you had to ask me. Things were just working out a lot better. Yeah, I've been on vacation for uh, quite some time, guys. We're just going to let that finish off in the pot there. You know, I've been on uh, vacation for quite some time, guys, and uh, I was out, uh, spent a few months at a local retention pond, and, um, you know, I was having a good time out there. I was catching up on my favorite shows. Okay, I got it. Where's the dead? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, fuck! Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Don't kill the fucking deal. Do the fucking deal. Get back. Get back. That guy's shooting our own guys. What the fuck is happening? Jesus Christ! This went real south real fast. Alright, alright. Yeah, I know. All the monster died. Yeah, all the monster died, I think. Execute him! Take him out! He's got a different colored shirt on! Everybody. No, please. Wait, what happened? I'm under the car. Don't do that. I can't get up! I, I can't get up! No! I was just a poor man that tripped! Why? Oh wait, I think I know the answer. Unless you pull away out, straight on your head. Ah! Oh my! They're executing Johnson! The pipes from Mike going off. Oh shit. Oh damn, our boys are dead. Well they told us all They're definitely still they're definitely still shooting. I think they're in the factory. There's a car with me on this wall. Hey go are we Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you scared the shit out of me. Holy yeah, shit, cool. dude! Oh my god! Man down! Yeah. Fucker! You him? Yeah. So anyways guys, like I was saying, I was on vacation for a while. You know, hanging out in my favorite retention pond for a few months. And uh, you know, I was just capturing up on my favorite shows. I don't know if you guys have been watching Baby Yoda, but that's the best goddamn show I've ever seen. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, I didn't know I needed it in my life as much as I did, but, you know, when you get one goddamn look at that baby, you know, you realize, you know, this is it. This is what we need as a society, as a people, as a culture. We needed him. And he came to our aid at the best time and at the worst time. It's just, it's everything we needed. And I'll do anything to protect it, goddammit. Alright guys, so there you have it. You know, you got your braised ham, you got your bread soup. Everything's going well. Um, yep. I'm Argyle. This is, uh, uh, Argyle's Cooking Hour. 
Uh, we had a fun-filled hour of cooking, and uh, you know, as we always pop it off, we like to we like to have a little fun around here. So, uh, you know, in celebration of uh, the new year, let's get one of these out there, and let's just have a a grand old a grand old ball, a grand old ball. Where the fuck? All right. Also, guys, uh, you probably noticed down in the corner there might be some kind of black bar. Uh, when I'm running around holding items, uh, it kind of spazzes out, and I don't want to subject you to that and give anyone any epilepsy. So if there's a black box at the end, that's why it's there. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video, so there's going to be a lot of comments about this. But, you know, it doesn't really matter much to me. Let's fucking go with this shit, boy. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blast off! Blast off! Blast off! 